For today's cup of coffee, we're going to, uh, I was hoping to do light and fluffy, but no, this is, this is not light and fluffy, folks. Uh, it's a time for all things, and uh, yeah. So, also, you're going to have to deal with shaky cam because I'm going to have to uh, be able to adjust the focus or whatever that's called on the camera uh, to discuss this. Uh, what I've got featured behind here is actually a book on uh, demonology, and I haven't read this one yet. That's that's the next one on the line. Uh, this is by Tarl Warwick, and yeah, there you go. You may know him as Sticks Hexenhammer Six Six Six, who is a political analyst on uh, YouTube. Uh, very good at political analysis. What he does is finds uh, older manuscripts a lot of times. Uh, he edits them, then he sells them on Amazon. And these are collections of books that he doesn't want to see them to go into the dustbin of uh, history. And, and I'm glad that he does do that because he has books on herbalism and different things like that. He is a very inquisitive person. He's also somebody that has been wounded by the spirit of religion. And a lot of times when people are wounded by the spirit of religion, they have a tendency to... Uh, categorize everybody that is a believer uh, as a hypocrite. And as a believer, you've got a lot of people that are hypocrites because I was wounded by religion also. Um, that's where it's, <laughs> it's like me and God on the front porch, folks. Anyhow, I did finish, and if I can get everything to focus, finish this book. And it was extremely well written. Um, it was very much too close to home at a lot of times, uh, dealing with what we're dealing with. And from that, there was a book that is mentioned that is real. Just got that one today. This is scholarly. Um, yeah, this, this stuff is, is for real, folks. And youngest kid was telling me today that they are going to do a remake of The Exorcist. Now, I don't believe in coincidence, so this is something, and I'm like, Lord, what, what are you uh, doing with all this stuff? Why, I understand, as far as our family's uh, circumstances, uh, you know, why I would be sort of goaded into reading some of these things. These are things that I never really wanted to read. I mean, you think about it, this book, this is the 40th uh, anniversary of this book. It came out in 71. This book came out in 74 or something like that. It's probably, you know, since it was mentioned in, in The Exorcist, I'm sure that it had, that there was a previous copy of this. And we, we see a lot of demonic things happening in our world today, and that's kind of spooky. Uh, it's not just our family. Um, we have got... Uh, a, a lot of stuff happening in our country right now that should be concerning everyone. As far as demonic encounters, the first actual demon that I knew that that was what it was uh, occurred when I was like 16 or 17 years old. And I was driving home at night and just minding my own business and looked into the rearview mirror and there was this thing sitting in the back seat. And it had a black whatever it was on, and it had uh, wild grayish, whitish hair. And it was frightening enough that uh, I drove for many years with a uh, crucifix on my rearview mirror. In fact, I've got a cross hanging there now in some aspect. I've seen people become possessed. There was a time when I was involved in channeling and different things like that. Uh, this was how I knew that there were demons that had different rankings. And if you've got a higher level demon, that they can give orders to a lower level demon. Or if you want to call them unclean spirits or whatever, I'm, I'm just using demons as a general category. Because uh, a lot of these things, we don't know what we're doing. I mean, we really don't. Uh... I had heard on a 
let's see, I can't remember if it was a, no, actually it was a George Nori that there was a gentleman, I think his name was Billy Bean, that he um, touts himself as an exorcist. And yeah, he got an email from me. And at the end of the email, I said, I have no money to pay you. So, and now he may have been inundated by emails, but I have yet to even get a thank you for writing me uh, type thing. I've, I've had that for quite a while now. And so, it's a matter of self-knowledge, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I do have a couple of other books that uh, was by another, I think that he was a priest that had been on one of the Art Bell shows. I went on, uh, I think it was like last night's Coast to Coast um, radio show. They, they were talking about the exorcist that whomever it was had gone to the house where the story uh, originally, you know, that was the actual account. Um, the, the interviewer had actually spoken to the individual that had been possessed, which was not a little girl, it was a little boy, and he was 13 years old, and he had interviewed this man uh, before he died. I think he said that the gentleman had died last year, and he had uh, told this man, he said, you're going to be disappointed because he didn't remember. That seems to be a commonality amongst people who have had uh, possession and there's more out there than, than you think, folks. So, you know, I had told oldest kid, I'm like, yeah, new book, a little bit of light reading. And he said, good luck. I said, I need more than luck. I need a miracle. And that is true. And I think that uh, our nation as a whole and our world as a whole needs a miracle right now. So I urge you very much be in prayer, uh, planetary alignments. Um, yeah, we've got some, some dark stuff coming up on us. Watch yourself. The um, I had put in the, I pinned a comment a day or so ago uh, under my video, but I'm going to reiterate it. And the words had come to me even before I had heard the planetary forecast, which is check yourself before you wreck yourself. And anybody who's ever been in rehab, ever been around NAAA, that's an old saying. So, from what I understand, it's a matter of temptation being extremely strong during this period of time. And, uh, you know, I'm recording this on the Sabbath. As also, uh, we had Purim, which was the Feast of Esther. And uh, if, rule of thumb, if... It's not scriptural as far as Torah. That's your policy and procedure, what to do, what not to do. And if there's any doubt, go back, read the policy and the procedure of what to do and what not to do. Because some of the consequences of uh, bad choices right now can have devastating consequences. So there you go, folks. I wish it had been light and fluffy. We might be able to do light and fluffy tomorrow. But uh, yeah, this this is some these are some serious times, folks. And let's be in prayer one for another. I ask you to please remember Michael in prayer, and please remember me in prayer. You all have a beautiful, blessed day.